but I'm about to go in there and sit with them. But I just want to show you what our guest brought for us. That was, this was so polite. Y'all, take note. Whenever somebody invites you over to their house for like an event or like lunch or something, bring something, you know? This is nice. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody had an awesome Saturday. Today is June 25th. And I'm not rushing around this morning because I already know that there's no need for me to rush around. So they're not going to be up there anyway. Um, I'm going to the movies with Fit Kid to see Finding Dory. I can't wait. I loved Finding Nemo. Let's see how Finding Dory is. For some reason, I've seen a picture of baby Dory floating around all over social media. But that's pretty much all I've been seeing. I'm not, you know, nobody's really been putting spoilers out there or anything, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, I'm a little curious to see how this movie is going to be. I heard it was good. So that's a good thing. We're meeting some, uh, I'm going to wear these today. Yeah, I'm going to wear these. We're meeting some cousins up at the movies, and I'm probably not going to vlog them because I've honestly never met them. <laughs> so, you know, I don't want to kind of force a camera in their face on our first day meeting. Uh, there's a giant Facebook group that I'm in. It's called the Moore Cousins, and I'm also in a family Facebook group on my mom's side. But, you know, we're just going to meet up because we're in the same area. So this should be interesting. I can't wait to meet them. Um, all right, put the back parts on. Uh, I think it's past 9.30 now. We're going to leave at 9.45 because, you know, we're team matinee. We're going to be seeing the first showing, 10.15. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, we're home, and Finding Dory was so good. Oh, my gosh, I loved it. It was so funny. Like, I loved it. My cousins loved it. We were just in there talking and chatting for about, oh, man. I want to say 30 minutes, it could have been longer. I love them for, I love my family in general. But you know what's funny? The fact that our guests just left and we have more guests coming because my mom's friend is coming over for lunch today and she's right out there. So she should be coming in in a minute. I'm also not going to vlog her, you know. Got to keep the camera away from the older people. <laughs> but, all right, let me tell you guys what we're having for lunch. We got this apple juice, uh, black bean hummus, pinto bean hummus, chips, uh, rice, green beans. This is probably pule yasa, which is an African dish. And we got the guests here. You know something I love when family comes over? They always say how we have such a nice house. And I'm like, when I get my own house, that's what they're going to be saying about my place too. Oh, Alexis, I love this place. <laughs> Eventually. But I'm about to go in there and sit with them. But I just want to show you what our guest brought for us. That was, this was so polite. Y'all, take note. Whenever somebody invites you over to their house for like an event or like lunch or something, bring something. You know, this is nice. She brought dried baby sweet pineapple, which I cannot wait to taste. Oh pomegranate white tea made with organic white tea leaves hibiscus flowers and lemongrass this i can't wait to taste some spanish saffron which i'm about to sniff because for some reason i just want to sniff this herb and beets okay um put this right there i just want to sniff this really oh it's covered i don't want to i want my mom to be the first one to open it i won't open it yet but I'm about to get some hummus and chips and apple juice and stuff. And I'm going to go sit in there, put this camera away for a little bit. Talk to you guys later. Can I have a sniff of that stuff? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mmm. It smells like a, something good. Mm -hmm. Let me see what that is. Can you put that into the... Oh, can you smell this, Elizabeth? <laughs> no. Oh, let me let you smell that. Mmm. They're apparently from... Can I get some perfume with perfume? Yeah, I'm about to take a nap. What time is it? 2 16. I'm about to take a nap. Oh my goodness. That pule yasa that we had for lunch was so good, but I was just I was feeling like I was about to fall asleep at that table for real. I'm a, I'm about to take a nap. And then when I wake up, mom and I are gonna go for a walk. So I will catch you guys in an hour or two behind on my vlogs i need to get back to watching my youtube videos 
Y'all know, I'm not going to put this in Wish Part 8, but y'all know I bought a bra from Wish, and for some reason, I wore it, like, yesterday for the gala, and my chest was irritated. I was scratching my chest, like, all night, and I didn't want to be inappropriate, so, like, I was trying to kind of stealthily scratch my chest, but I'm not sure if Wish put, like, some... I don't know. I'm always fearful that when I open up a package from Wish, it's going to be, like, bugs flying out of there. <laughs> I said, I don't know if it was, like, a ant or something in that bra and it was biting me all night. I really don't know. Probably not. But I was just so irritated. And my chest was turning red. It, it was a mess. But it's fine now. And you can't really tell last night. I'm just... I just know that my chest was red. <sighs> okay. I'm going to sleep now. I'm taking a nap. Hey guys, so I'm awake for my little relaxation. And did I tell you something that happened at the movies? Did I tell you that this lady had her baby in there? Just, and he was just crying. Towards the tail end of the movie, you just heard a screaming baby. And I was like, really? Y'all, if you have children under the age of three, they don't need to be coming to the movies for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that they shouldn't watch movies, but have them watch their little movie at home in the comfort of the family room. They don't need to come to the theater. They're not gonna be able to last the entire film. And it's just no point in them doing that. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It is no point in bringing your toddler to the movie theater. I will never understand why people do that. I don't get it. And then number two, this other thing that happened, the uh, soda machine, like I don't drink a lot of sodas and this soda machine attacked me and it just reminded me of why I don't drink a lot of sodas. Basically, I was going through all the options because <laughs> you know, it's like 200 something sodas you can get out of that machine. So I was going through my options and I settled on a Sprite Zero strawberry flavored and the soda came out at me instead of into the cup and I was like, jeez. Oh, and you know what? If I complain to the movie theater that their soda machine sprayed me and it messed up my $5 shirt, I could actually probably get some coupons. You know, if you do that, it's a chance that they will send you stuff. Because I remember when I ordered a pizza from a Pizza Hut on New Year's Eve, they messed up my order real bad. I complained, I got a free pizza. That's all it took. <laughs> That's all it took. Just had to complain a little bit. But I'm going to fix up my face a little bit because mom and I are about to run up to the Costco. I just want to go with her just to get out the house. And then when I come back, I'm going to walk because I need to do that. Because I'm pretty sure I ate all my calories that I needed to eat for today at that movie theater. One of the uh, menu items, it was talking about 2,000 calories for one meal or something. I was like, 2,000 calories for one meal? That's your calories for the day. And people eat that at the movie theaters? Wow, got y'all worry. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. You know what's funny? I'm wearing a pair of shoes right now, right? And if you follow me on Snapchat, then you know which pair of shoes I'm talking about. If you don't, then you'll just have to be surprised to wait for the next Wish video. But it was funny, because at uh, the last day of Bible study, our little banquet that we had, I wore these shoes. And right when I came in, these little kids, they made it so obvious that they were pointing and looking at my shoes and that they were just amazed. They were like, like, <laughs> they were so just, I don't know. I mean, I didn't figure, I didn't think that these shoes were that, like, uncommon. I thought, you know, people had them. But I guess not, because everybody would talk about it. They loved my shoes and where did I get them from. I was like, oh, I wish. <laughs> I'm getting people hip, y'all. How many more things am I expecting from Wish? I'm expecting, like, three more things. And then I can post a video. Yeah, three more, and hopefully they come soon. And Wegmans. Mom, can we get some mangoes? Just felt a mango that was the ripest mango. Oh my gosh, it felt so ripe. We can't even get it. It was $2.99. each. Still expensive. This should be baby bananas. Mommy, in the way. It's so cute. And what's wrong with those? They have a skin disease. No, they're just called red. Do the red bananas taste different? Mm-hmm. You want to try some? Yeah. Put one of these back. I like how Wegmans has a little description underneath of the food. I wanted to try a sugar snap pea because I saw sugar. I was like, yes. But mom said I couldn't. She all the way back there. No, I'm not going to do it. When I was younger, I used to always love to look up there and look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh. The 
this brand of vegetables. Be free honey. That's not even how you spell honey. It says it's made from apples. Can we try the apple honey? <laughs> We're getting close to the candy, Al. I'm just gonna get one piece of candy. Just one little piece. I don't know why I was having a sugar attack just now. I just got me one little caramel cream. I'm all looking for now. Snap, it's the tea out. Miss Elizabeth has me thinking about my favorite tea now. Not that I have one, but I do like tea. Oh yeah, I drink herbal tea every morning. Every morning, but now, Giant has um, Get some ice cream, how about the cookie dough? Oh, we'll see, mine has to be either coconut. Yeah, coconut milk cookie dough, right there. I'll deal with that. Okay, but all this healthy ice cream is right around here, and then you have one Ben and Jerry's right there. Yeah. Oh, they make that's because they're making it with the coconut. Or the oh, yeah, it is something. made with almond milk. Yeah. Never mind, Ben and Jerry's is healthy now. I can't wait to try these red bananas right here. And this is the best popcorn, Chicago mix, y'all. Just trust me on this. This is the best. Okay, so we're back from the Wegmans, and I'm about to try this red banana. I've never tried a red banana. They're already so tiny. I'm not trying to squish the banana. Scissors. I asked my mom, do they taste different? And she said they do. So I'm very interested to see how a red banana will be different from a regular yellow banana. If I could ever get it open. There we go. What is going on here? This is different. I could barely get this thing open. Okay. Let's try it. I do taste a difference. It's not a very good difference, but I taste a difference. Luckily, red bananas are so small. I'm glad it's not a regular sized banana. I'd have to force myself to eat it. But I was gonna go on a walk. It is very hot outside. So I'm just waiting for my mom to get home and we're gonna walk together at eight o'clock. Right now it's like six. I'm not gonna go out to walk right now. It's so toasty. It was said it was supposed to be 82 degrees. It feels like 182. Like what's... Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Oh my goodness, what happened last night? What was the last thing I vlogged? I completely, I didn't end out the vlog. I just, I went to sleep. I, I, I'm sorry y'all, I'm ending the vlog the next day. <laughs> and I can't even vlog today because I have to go to work. Sunday's my work day. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up the next day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs the video up and I'll talk to you guys another day. Bye-bye.